Hey viewers, this is your youth librarian, Anna Marie from the West Girl Public Library, excited to create that story time at home experience for all of you. Keep watching for an idea on how to make a baby play activity, similar to those we use in our playtime after our standard baby story time that you can create from around the house objects that hopefully will keep your little one engaged for a little while. All materials and information will also be in the description below. DIY play activity is super fun, especially as it gets more warm outside. This is water painting. All you need for this for an inside environment is a piece of paper. If you've got something darker, fantastic, or like purple, blue, or black. If you don't and you have white paper, this still works just as well. Something to contain the water that you will be painting with. Ah, so I've got a cookie sheet here. You might have another kind of tray. If your little one has a high chair, that might be a great place to put them in. It sort of controls some of the, some of the wetness <laughs> to that specific space. I also have water. I have it in a bowl. You could put it in a cup. Particularly, generally, the shallower your water holding device is, generally, the less likely it is to be spilled. This is something, it is just water, so it will dry, but it is something you may wanna keep in mind about where you put your little one, where your space is set up, if you want them getting wet today, all of those kind of questions. So I have water, not too much, it's almost less than an inch inside of that bowl. And I have a paintbrush. This is a baby safe paintbrush. It has never been used for paint or any other projects beyond water play. You don't have to have a paintbrush. Little ones can also just use their fingers. So these are my tools for inside water play. If you are doing outside water play, which can be a ton of fun, you just need some container to hold your water. In that case, I would recommend a paintbrush or something else to paint with, though your little ones, if you're okay with them putting their hands on the sidewalk or on the ground, that's another great surface that can be a little bit less water mess inside of your house. So all you do with this one is you encourage your little one to take their paintbrush or their fingers, dip it in the water, and then paint on that paper you've got. It is water, so your paper may eventually get pretty sopping while we have that tray, but it gives your little one a chance to practice those fine motor skills, particularly if holding a paintbrush or finger painting, it's helping them practice those writing skills they'll need eventually. You can also just dip your fingers in and paint those along the sheet as well. And it creates some interesting artwork for your little one to explore a different texture in a slightly less messy way than giving them a giant tub of water and telling them to have at it with some toys. So this lets them practice those fine motor skills, gets them a different sensory texture to explore, and uh, also lets them have a little bit of fun inside or outside. Gets a little messy, but it's water, so it dries. <laughs> 